Boracay Island, one of the most beautiful tropical islands in the world. Home to crystal clear waters, white powdery sand beaches, and of course, luxurious mega resorts. Well, that's great and all, but what if you don't exactly have the money to go stay at a mega resort? Do you just not go all together? No. There's actually solutions to that. There are cheaper places to stay. Luckily for you, I say that the cheapest place you could possibly find in Boracay, the Chill Out Hostel. Let's go and check it out. Chill Out Hostel. Look at this. Got a coconut bra and a grass skirt. Yeah, it looks like some cross dressing going on. And it's only $26.48 a night in Boracay, which is one of the nicest islands on the planet. We have a standard twin room with one bunk bed. The also, cheapest. the hostel. You're gonna have to sleep with other people. Really? Yeah, that's a hostel. No? Yes, she. All right, let's, let's find out then. We found out it is private. See, the private room it got there was very clean. This is a review, by the way. This guy gave it five out of five. This guy had a positive review. This guy gave it four out of five, comfy and cheap. Far from the white sand beat. Rooms have own CR. Overall, a good place to stay. I mean, so far, these reviews sound pretty good. Best hotel in Boracay. Free rum night. Is there a bad review? Let's look for a bad review. Oh, here's a bad review. If you book through Hostel World, they say they have pool Wi-Fi. This is not true. They informed us that the roads are being done outside the hostel, but that is all that they do. Overall, oh, here's a bad one. Didn't stay there, only had food there. The food was okay, but didn't get what I ordered. I got charged the wrong price. Won't be going back. Okay, that's a restaurant review. That was bad. We'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. We arrived in Katiklan, Aklan which is the main jumping off point to get to Boracay. We then boarded a boat for a quick 10 minute ride to the beautiful isle. When we arrived on the island, we were then whisked off to our lodging for the night, the chill out hostel, which was the absolute cheapest place to stay on the island. Here's the main lobby and restaurant area. Here's a little hangout spot outside the rooms where you can chill and possibly have some drinks. Here's Izzy trying to get away after seeing the room we just booked. Just kidding, it was pretty decent as you'll see. Whoa, pretty nice for 2K. Three bunk beds. Okay, here's the bathroom. Bathroom! Not bad. There's a place Okay. Oh, and there's a hose here. <laughs> okay, the showers. So this is the cheapest spot I can find. Cheapest. Where are they? It's not bad at all. We have lockers. Four lockers here. But I can walk her over there. Is that where you're staying, Izzy? <laughs> After getting settled in the room, we went to town and had a feast for a king at the Pig Out Bistro. Check out the video about our full trip to see more. We also went to the main beach and had ourselves a night out. We then returned to the chill out hostel for our first night on the island. Here's a couple of thoughts from Crystal and Damien before bed. Pretty okay, but I would just rather have like one flowing. This one looks like shower. They don't have any of these we bought that or soap, so I had to buy my own soap. My own soap. Their own shampoo and bath shop. Internet is the only thing that's bad here. Everything else is a uh, very nice. The next morning, we had ourselves a free breakfast that was included in our stay. All right, we got a free breakfast with our stay. Free food! I got it at the top silo. Pretty decent. Could use more serving though. For the price that they charge, which is $2. Pretty good. After breakfast, our time at the cheapest place on the island had come to an end. Here's our final thoughts about the chill out hostel. So, this place was honestly kind of good. So like, I, I swept kind of well last night. It, I think everything else is very very good except for the internet here. We have to go outside for it to be very nice. The service is pretty nice and the food is awesome. Uh, if you're on a budget, it's really good. But if you're very particular with like towels or towels really thin, they don't really have soap. They do have shampoo and body wash. Cleanliness is really, it's really good. The only thing for me, I think one of their mattress, um, it smells like someone pees in it. So I hope they clean that up. <laughs> That's the only like no, no for me. And yeah, Wi-Fi, it's really slow here inside the room. So we're about to check, check, check. So we're about to check out from the Chill Out Hostel. And this is the cheapest hostel I could find, or cheapest place I could find on booking.com on the whole island of Boracay. If you're on a budget, it's not bad, huh, Izzy? It's not bad at all, but it is on a budget. 
So like everything is on the budget, even the sheets. The sheets on the bed are like cheap. Towels are cheap. But the AC is good, it's clean. The bathroom is decent, it's clean. If you're on a budget, the cheapest place in Boracay, not too bad at all. The Wi-Fi is bad in the rooms, but uh, it's strong in the lobby slash restaurant area. I mean, if you just need a place to stay, no real nightmares here, decent. And also I gotta add that uh, we got free breakfast with our stay and it was a decent breakfast I got the top silog and they have like all different kinds of silog which is egg and rice and meat they also had a masseuse on staff my wife and I got the massage last night from the masseuse on staff and it was amazing the masseuse on staff was really strong with her hands not weak massage legit hard deep tissue it was amazing so yeah for a hostel they have a masseuse on staff pretty damn good and then one thing is that they don't don't have any kind of room service and you're not allowed to eat in the room. So that is our experience at the Chill Out Hospital, the cheapest place you could possibly get in Boracay. It's definitely okay if you're young and on a budget. Thanks for tuning in all the way to this part of the video. Go ahead and give it a like, subscribe for more hotel reviews. Ciao!